Okay, so I thought I'd do this video and I've labeled it convenience versus quality or versus sound quality because this was my journey. I used this Personas audio box. It's from, uh, yeah, as I said, it's from Personas and it's an entry level one. They've got tons of other, you know, more uh, efficient uh, sound uh audio boxes with multiple inputs and outputs and really great low latency for virtual instrument playing. That's the thing that I use it for quite a bit. Besides my normal audio, I want to have a real time feel and, and this box does it good enough for me. But I started getting some problems in that I, I use things like Keyscapes and I've got a few standalone VST uh, plug-in program. So the VST, for those people who don't know it, are virtual instruments that you can use virtual instruments inside a digital audio workstation, or it could be a standalone, like in the case of Keyscapes, it's a standalone application that you can have all your keyboards and instruments in there. And also I use Gig Performer, which is a almost a blank canvas where you can pull in any virtual instrument, any effects, everything, and you route them using uh, almost what we can call nodes. Um, if you're doing 3D modeling or you're doing video editing, you know about nodes and connecting nodes and Gig Performer is so powerful in that area and it just works brilliantly. But I opened Keyscapes inside Gig Performer, worked perfectly playing through my audio sound card and then all of a sudden, things just all went a bit sort of weird. I was still playing fine and it sounded all good, but I felt the dynamic of the keyboard was starting to strain a bit. It felt like it wasn't responsive. And I thought it's maybe my computer that's maybe lagging. I maybe need to reboot it, try that. That didn't help. And then I was looking all over. And the reason why I got into this problem in the first place is because Gig Performer, uh, maybe we'll just open up Gig Performer for you. It is such a powerful tool to connect all these VST instruments that you tend to experiment far beyond just, you know, plugging something in and using it. You start to root the things here. You start to fiddle around with drivers and that. And I, I just hope that you can still hear my audio because it might be utilizing the drivers, the audio drivers here also. But I think we should still be good for that. So while Geek Performer is loading up here, I was using Gig Performer. Initially, it sounded fine with all the VST instruments, but then the VST instruments started losing a bit of dynamic in them. And it's difficult to, to explain it. I, I can't really play it and let you hear it also because it's, it's got to do with what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling as I'm playing. And then I started doing a bit of research online and then discovered that there were a few people also having a similar problem and it had everything to do with this thing the aco drivers aco for all now all these sound cards have aco drivers they are the drivers that make the the audio work and the sound card work and windows or if you're on a mac or linux make them communicate with the sound card but aco for all which is open source does so much more however guys were discovering that there was a, a degradation in the quality of the sound with the ACO drivers. And then I hopped across in Gig Performer, I went to the audio setup. Now I've removed the ACO for all driver. Okay. So it, it's not visible yet. But what was happening is if I disconnected my sound card for some reason, because the ACO for all was a software driver, it would become a bit more resilient to stay in these audio device drivers areas. And then when I connected my sound card back again, the ACO for all actually took over the position here of my ACO driver. So it wasn't the ACO driver of my sound card, but it was the ACO driver that was coming from ACO for all. If you see here, here's the audio box ACO driver. There you find those are all sound cards from Personas. These drivers are all installed here, but that's my sound card there. So yeah, I would also have ACO for all listed. Um, actually not yet would be listed on top. And that used to default into my ACO driver without me really checking up. It, it sort of set itself up when it booted up. And when I was playing, I had this sensation of weirdness happening. 
I uninstalled ACO for all because I didn't want it to inadvertently, you know, pop itself in into the space based on when the thing is booting up the program, etc. Um, no, no fault of um, Gig Performer. That's just the driver itself that I set up in that way. So once I took the ACO for all driver out and I just make it use the sound cards ACO drivers, boom. My things came perfectly back, the dynamics, the sound, the, the fullness came back. So maybe it can help one of you who's, who's busy also in this space that you're using ACO for all. Now I know most people want to use it because it drops your latency for virtual instruments down to like three or four. I can do that with this card also, but it's going to chug at certain points because it's going to not be able to handle it. Maybe a higher model card. Um, in the case with the personas, maybe the, a bigger one, a bigger model card or a later model, they can get down to really low latencies where they built in their own drivers. But if you are trying to use the ACO for all to drop your latency uh, and you're finding out that the quality of your audio is degrading or there's things going wrong, then that would be a good place to look for it. I, it was the last one I went to go look for because I was looking at maybe it's the the dynamics of the actual plug-in, the VST instrument, or maybe it was the compression, or maybe it was my mixer that was doing something. And I'd suggest first go look at the ACO, swap that out, use your original one, even if your latency is a bit more than usual, uh, but listen to see if there's a quality change in the sound. So for me, I prefer my you know, my quality to be there over the convenience of what ACO drivers can add to the party. Um, in my case, I'm happy with that. And it's just great that I was able to identify the ACO driver as being the problem. So maybe it helps one of you uh, been frustrated, questioning why your sound card is maybe not sounding right. And, and it might apply also for just generally for sound cards, if you don't have the proper drivers for a particular sound card, it could be influencing the quality of the audio itself. Great stuff. Have a fantastic day. Be blessed and shalom to everybody.